Hi guys, I finally got the opportunity to fly this drone. It's the L109 Pro, made by LYZ RC. Stay tuned, guys. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, fortunately, I was able to take this out recently for its first flight. Um, I haven't been able to do it since I unboxed it, which was a few months ago now. Um, but since the restrictions have, have been lifted a little bit in the last few weeks, uh, I've been able to step outside and take this to the park. I'll jump straight into it. I'd like to show you a clip of my first flight and then I'll talk to you a bit more about it afterwards. So here's the clip and I'll talk to you soon. gyro and now this one is the calibration so the lights are flashing so rotate it right okay and then vertically up there right Okay, I've got full control, but as soon as I go further away, you know these antenna things have to be up, even though they're... Okay, I'll put that. Okay. Yeah, I've got full control, somewhat. Oh, yeah, right. I'm going the way there. I want to bring it up. See, it's the range is not working anymore. I think I've got a dud. Oh, see, I've got no range anymore. And then when I lose range, then it comes back home because it's lost the range. That's what happens when you when you lose range. It will come back home to me. But. It's not even getting far. Oh no, I think I'm gonna die. Oh, okay. okay guys, so as you saw from the clip, um, I wasn't having much luck with the control of the drone. Pretty frustrating. I brought it out to another location today and um, I pretty much got the same result. I couldn't control the, the drone after about 20 meters and then it would fly back to me but I did discover that when I controlled the drone using the on-screen controls on the phone I was able to actually fly the drone 15 20 30 50 meters away from me so I was very excited about that and very happy to be able to actually fly the drone and have fun with it. Um, I captured a little bit of footage of the drone as you can see here and you know it's not the best footage I mean it's not the best I didn't really concentrate on trying to get good footage and steady footage or anything like that and it was pretty difficult to control um, the drone using the on-screen controls on the phone so um, I mean, but this this just goes to prove that there's definitely a problem with the the actual controller itself. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I got in contact with Banggood, and they said, "Well, we'll refund it if you um, send it back to us." And it was going to cost me 
80 bucks to, to ship it back to them. And that's almost basically half the price of it. So the best they could do was offer a hundred bucks refund. And um, yeah, I took it. I took the hundred bucks, cut my losses. And um, yeah, just hope that this I'd be able to still salvage something out of this drone. It, it's a shame because it was such a fully featured drone and all the reviews I'd seen on it were all positive. Um, and no one else has had this problem that I've had. But yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. What I'm thinking of next is to perhaps open up this this controller and see if there's something that's missing or if there's something that's not connected properly. Maybe the antenna inside is not um, is not connected properly or something like that. Maybe I'll maybe I'll you know be able to expose the antenna or even put it inside here and put it onto this. I don't know. Um, depends how long it is as well. But um, you know I extended these antennas. Just in case that they help, you know, shield interference or or they helped guide the signal to the drone or some some nonsense like that. But you know, obviously they don't really do anything. Um, but yeah, please let me know if what you think. Um, I sh what else I should try? Um, maybe you've got some other suggestions that I could try. So I'd really appreciate that. Alright guys, thanks very much for joining me on this video and um, hopefully I've got some better news uh, on my next video about this drone. Otherwise, um, I'll probably take out the the other drone that I, I actually won from Banggood, which was the eShine E350, I think it was. It's not as good as um, this drone here, it doesn't have the features, um, but it's probably, at least I'll probably have fun with it and it'll probably work for me through the controller. By the way, just quickly before I go, check out this bit of footage that I captured in my first attempt. There was a magpie that tried to attack my drone. <laughs> and here's just another um, shot of it from a, from a camera phone. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.